Hey gamers, Sleepy here, and welcome to a new pickups video. Today we're going to go over some gifts I got for my birthday, as well as stuff I picked up for myself. Uh, first up, some stuff I got for my parents. Uh, they gave me another uh, gift card to one of my local game stores here. They have several locations, so I was able to use the gift card uh, more than once. Uh, picked up some great stuff here. First up, I got some copies of The Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Ring for the original Xbox. And the reason I'm picking up copies of this is because this company actually included uh, trading cards and specially marked copies. They had uh, 25 cards total in the set. And when you would buy one of the specially marked copies, you would get one of those cards randomly in there. They also did that with PS2 copies and Game Boy Advance copies. I know of uh, a couple collectors who actually have the full set. And it was just something I wanted to go for uh, my collection since I'm starting to go after variants now. And so I want to get all the cards, so I started off. So the first one was for four bucks. I found one with a copy of the Aragorn trading card, so that was cool. Next up for five dollars, found a copy with the One Ring, and this is actually the rarest of the cards to find. So I'm very happy to uh, find that one for five bucks. Not bad. Uh, next up for six dollars, I found a copy that came with Boromir trading card. Pretty cool. Uh, for eight bucks. Found a copy that had Mary, the 3D model trading card. And finally, last one for eight bucks was a Frodo 3D model trading card. So very happy. Glad to already have uh, five games with the five of the trading cards uh, to start off my set of the 25. So I just have 20 left to go. So really cool subset that I'm looking forward to completing this year. Other thing I bought... Uh, with that gift card was a really cool collector's edition for the Xbox 360, and that was Ninja Gaiden 3. Very awesome game. I uh, love the Ninja Gaiden series. It wasn't as good as number two, but I still enjoyed the story, and I love collector's edition. It was only 15 bucks. It's in pretty decent condition. You know, there's a little rip here in the front, uh, but it doesn't bother me too much. I still am happy to get it, and for 15 you know, it's hard to say no. It came with a uh, statue came with an art book, a soundtrack, and then it also had a code that you could have got into the alpha demo for uh, Dead or Alive 5, which of course you can't use anymore because that was so long ago, but very happy to add this collector's edition uh, to my collection because I love collector's editions. Another birthday gift, I got this from a uh, co-worker at work. Uh, she gave me a copy here of Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Winter Games Sochi 2014 for the Wii U. Pretty cool. Definitely will look forward to playing this with uh, my fiance and her son. I do love the Wii U and I do like playing games with them. So this will be a cool little uh, family party game. So looking forward to checking that out. Uh, my girlfriend uh, bought me a bunch of stuff. Well, she's my fiance now, but she got me a bunch more Lego Dimension stuff. Uh, we were at the Half Price Books uh, the other day, and uh, she picked these up for my birthday. It was really cool of her. Uh, got me one of everything they had. So first up, I uh, got a copy here of Bart Fun Pack. The Krusty Fun Pack. Gollum from Lord of the Rings. Unikitty from the Lego Movie. Lloyd from the Ninjango. And Legolas from the Lord of the Rings. So that was really cool to get all those little fun packs. Also got me a level pack, and that was for The Simpsons, which is awesome because we both love The Simpsons. We've actually already played through this level. Really enjoyed it. Loving the Lego Dimensions game, so really cool to add this. Uh, they got the Lego Homer. I got his car and then a TV that you can build, which really cool game. Definitely uh, happy to get these, so that was cool. Now we'll move on to stuff I picked up for myself from uh, eBay. First up here is a variant for uh, Platinum Hits, and it's Star Wars Episode Three: Revenge of the Sith. But this is the first time I ever found one that said it includes the Xbox 360 and original Xbox version. So this was a re-release of the Platinum Hits. Really cool, complete. I had never seen this before, so I definitely uh, had to snag it when I saw it on there. And it was only 7 bucks, so that was cool. Also, finally found a copy here of Peter Jackson's uh, The Official Game of the Movie, and this is the Movie Pass variant. You know, I'm trying to collect all the games that came with Movie Passes. I've had a hard time finding this, so I finally found one online. Brand new. Uh, seal's a little broken up here, but that doesn't bother me. I'm just glad it has the uh, movie ticket in there. And that one was 8 bucks. Next up, another Movie Pass variant 
is here for the Van Helsing movie. This is another one that I've not had a lot of uh, success finding the movie tickets, so I finally had to go online and finally found a seller that had a copy complete with it. Very happy. And I paid uh, nine bucks for that. Next up, I got a not for resale copy of uh, Odd World Munch's Odyssey. So this was one of the uh, launch games you could buy that had the uh, not for resale version. So very happy to get that. It is complete. I paid 10 bucks for that one. Next up, another variant here is for Midway Arcade Treasures 2. And this is a promotional copy, not for resale. Uh, you got this when you pre-ordered. I'm not sure remember what game it is, but you would pre-order a game. And you actually got this as your pre-order bonus. So that was really cool. It is complete with everything. Got that for 11 bucks. Uh, next up, these two items here are really cool. They're uh, E3 Access DVDs. And the first one... It came as a set. The first one here is E3 Access for 2004. So this has over 13 hours of content for Xbox, PS2, GameCube, PC, and more. Really cool sets that you could get back in uh, back in the day at uh, GameStop. It has four DVDs. I uh, loved the old E3, so I definitely uh, look forward to popping these in and reliving the old classic moments from 2004. That was really cool. They were only uh, $15 for both of them, so there's that one. And then I also got E3 Access 2005, which talks about the Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, and when Nintendo's Wii was called the Revolution. So, very cool. This one, also, this one has over 14 hours of content for all kinds of systems and stuff, interviews, stuff like that. Definitely another one uh, that I definitely took out because this one's 2005, and that was definitely a really cool year uh, for E3. So, very happy to have those. Look forward to checking out both of those. Uh, next up, some more variants here. Uh, got Marvel Ultimate Alliance, and this was the GameStop version that came with the bonus Silver Surfer code. I got that one for sixteen bucks. So happy to have that. The other one I got was Marvel Ultimate Alliance, and this was the bonus Daredevil uh, code, and this was a Target exclusive. And I got that one for sixteen dollars. So happy with that. Uh, next up, brand new copy here of Taz Wanted. Now, this one was $20, and the reason I got it was because it came with a very hard, rare-to-find uh, coupon for Red Baron Pizza Slices. Uh, another variant that I've wanted to get for a while. Got lucky to finally find a copy online that had one, and for 20 bucks, definitely was not going to leave it behind. So, very happy to have that. I also got some uh, pre-order bonuses. Now, these were all... DVDs that you got when you pre-ordered these games. You know, what's really cool, you know, they used to give you stuff. Nowadays, they just give you codes and stuff, but you used to get physical stuff when you would pre-order stuff, and I always liked those bonuses, so I wanted to collect the different ones for the original Xbox first up, and it's brand new, still sealed, is Delta Force Black Hack Down uh, bonus DVD. That one was 5 bucks. Advent Rising, this one was not brand new, but in really good condition. That one was $12. Uh, this next one was a three-pack. No, it wasn't. Why don't we get to that one first? Uh, this one was not a three-pack, but it was uh, $19, and that was the pre-order bonus for Leisure Suit Larry. Really cool. Glad to have that. All right, now this next one is the three-pack here. It was $21, came with three bonus DVDs, all brand new and sealed from the same seller. It was really cool, a nice uh, lot, didn't have any of them. First one here, pre-order bonus for the Chronicles of Riddick, Escape from Butcher Bay. Really cool. Men of Valor. And Bard's Tale. Really awesome. Final thing I got here, pre-order bonus, was $22, brand new, and it was Oddworld Stranger's Wrath pre-order bonus. And it also came with the demo for uh, Conquered Live and Reloaded. Really cool. Uh, these DVDs, you know, contain a lot of bonus footage, trailers, making of, stuff like that. Really cool uh, bonus DVDs. You know, some great stuff they gave you for your uh, collection uh, when you pre-order stuff. So, definitely happy to have these in the collection. And now we'll go over the final thing I picked up on uh, eBay. Very happy to find this because it's extremely rare and hard to find. And it is Tony Hawk's Project 8, but this was a special limited edition version that came with a skate deck and the game, which is awesome. It's in excellent uh, condition. 
and this was a little over $50 shipped. So happy to have this in the collection. I saw another collector had one, and I vaguely remember seeing these at uh, Target back in the day, and they were like 100 bucks at the time, and I thought, hey, that'd be kind of cool, but I didn't really want to pick it up, and so happy to have this in my collection now. Very awesome. I've uh, never ever seen one on eBay before this one, and I haven't seen one since this, so very happy to have this in the collection. It was a very awesome item to get, and a great birthday gift for myself. Alright guys, that's everything. I do have a few more pickup videos scheduled, because I have picked up some other stuff. I do want to thank you guys for your support. Take care, have a great day, and sleepy. I'll see you guys next time.